Hello everyone and welcome to Salt Bake Mini. Today, I'll be making this pair of small drawer cabinets. These small drawer cabinets will be on both sides of the oven as seen here. Let's get started. I used SketchUp to design everything and started by 3D printing the drawer slides. For the cabinets themselves, I used three different thicknesses of basswood, one thirty seconds for the trim, one sixteenth for the drawers and shelves, and three thirty seconds for the main structure of the cabinets. I then used a laser cutter to cut everything out so I would have clean edges and everything would fit together nicely. To assemble the cabinets, I started by marking the location of the drawer slides on the side panels. After marking the locations, I tested the slides to make sure they don't bind or have any issues. It looks like they fit properly so I can glue them in place. I made sure to line them up to the line as best as I could so that the drawers slide smoothly. I'm using super glue for this part to make sure the plastic sticks well to the wood. Now it's time for the front of the cabinet. For this, I used tacky glue to adhere the front piece to the sides. This was a little tricky because the laser cuts have a bevel, which means getting the pieces to align up at a 90 degree angle can take a bit of patience. After a few attempts, I was able to get it aligned properly. I was worried about the front being strong enough, so I added in some extra supports. This made it much more sturdy, and the more pieces I added, the easier it was to get everything square. It also gives it the ability to store the heavy cutlery. If you don't have a laser cutter, I highly recommend it for a project like this because it's extremely accurate. After my additional supports were glued in, I could glue on the second side panel. Again, I used tacky glue. Make small beads on all the surfaces that will be touching the side panel. Because the drawer sides are pre-glued, I just have to make sure everything is aligned correctly. I added one last support to the back side to keep the sides the correct distance away from each other. To glue the drawers, I started with the sides. This was quite the struggle and if you look closely, you can see the leftover glue from having to re-glue it because of several screw-ups. Next I glued on the inside portion of the slide rails. If you're interested in making these mini cabinets, you can find my plans and files for them on Patreon. Check out the link in this video's description. Now I can insert the drawers into the cabinets. Now for the slide test. Smooth as butter. Last, I need to add the faces to each drawer. 
Adding the faces last ensures that the drawers will fit into the allocated space and properly aligns them. Once I have glue added to the drawers, I can put the face in place and push it in. I'll be painting these cabinets and adding the handles once all the cabinetry is completed. Check out my next video to see how I assemble the next set of cabinets.